When was the last time you did a wash and go? Last week. Okay. A week ago. So this days. is your pure, pure seven days. Okay, cool. Yep. So do I add the water first? Do I put it on my hand? Oh, you wet your hair first. Then you add product. Do you like you add all of it in one little glob? Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I, sometimes you can do two. I only use one big glob for you. I just do like a big old, I fill up my whole hand and then I just start working with your hair. And your hair is very sudsy if you can see that. So now that I have shampooed my hair, now I'm just finger detangling just to kind of get like curl definition of my hair because for sure it being so long and extremely curly we always want those nice curls right guys just make sure you get like every part of your hair even if you have to kind of go with like small sections just start off from like here and just do like a quarter and then do like another quarter on the back two halves and then of course like this half the front two and just make sure you get like all through your hair even if you have to kind of go up under it You see I'm twisting her hair. It's gonna help it clump. And it's gonna help it clump yeah. and make it easier to actually style my wash and go. So you guys look real close. Her twists look really nice look and clean. Look at the juiciness. Yes. The so shine. Juicy. Yes. The body, the volume. So deep conditioning is what will keep high porosity hair moisturized. And cut back on your hair breaking off. Deep conditioning is so important for high porosity hair, it's crazy. The best deep conditioner to use is Curl Mix, of course. And I'm only saying that because their conditioner is flaxseed and oil-based. They're also all natural, so they're going to be the safest to use on your curls to promote hair growth over time. Next tip, get regular trims. Even if it's you, I'm kidding. Get a professional trim. Dryness happens to all of us, and it hits our ends particularly hard. So make sure you're visiting your hairstylist for trims for at least 10 to 12 weeks maximum to refresh your hair and give your ends that TLC that it deserves. Because if you don't get your hair trimmed, your ends will feel really raggedy and dry, which will make you think that all of your hair is really raggedy and dry. But once you chop those ends off, your hair will feel and look a lot better. I am definitely a believer now. Um, I learned a lot tonight too, just like in the proper technique of how to do a wash and go. Like apparently because my hair is so porous, like it needs to be like dripping wet. So I'm positive that that was one of the things I was doing wrong before. So it has to be dripping wet. Um, and then like also Kim's technique and the way she worked the product through my hair, like I think that's why I got like such good definition. Um, and it has like a nice hold on it. So I know it's gonna last a few days for sure. So this is, I'm a, listen, I'm sold. <laughs> Kim is doing some parting here, that parting magic. Tim is hilarious. Like about last time. <laughs> he keeps calling it magic. Okay, so we are on step three for everybody following along at home. I feel like we're on a cooking show. So know? I know sometimes people will say like with her hair, they'll just judge it because it's like, well, it's short. I could just judge it and go. But honestly, like if you're still one, you still need to just follow the same steps. Yeah, so you, you want to get great definition, you got to section it. Pamela, you were looking for more definition out of your wash and go. Exactly. That's what we're going for today. I'm going to re-wet her sections as I go. This is ideal if you do it in the shower, right? Because your hair stays nice and hydrated the entire way through. It's a little trickier when you're in, when you get out the shower. That's what we always tell you guys to get in the shower and like, you want to sleep on that satin pillowcase, but let me go into detail why. I have breakage at the root of my edges, and it's because normally I would sleep on a cotton pillowcase. So all of that moisture, that work that I put into making sure that my hair would last long, be moisturized, is gone out the window because now that cotton pillowcase is soaking up all of that. And my hair, your hair, could get caught into that pillowcase. So please, sleep on the satin pillowcase. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the front because that's the part I want to look the best. And I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping it soaking wet. And the gel really clumps the hair, which is why I don't, I don't recommend doing washing those with creams. Yeah. Like they just don't hold the hair, you know? Cause yeah. all gels form cast. Yeah. Like all those little nice curls all over the place, all that definition, that's that clumpage. All right, y'all look at that. Get uh. nice and close. Ooh, juicy, juicy. Juicy, juicy. Look at that, beautiful.